Today, we'll be constructing different angles. We'll construct angle 90, angle 60, angle 30, angle 15, angle 75, angle 150, angle 120, angle 165, and angle 105 using a very simple method that is bisection. You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy. I will take my compass my ruler and my pencil and I am going to draw an horizontal line this way you can see that now I can pick different points that's what I want to do I'll pick a point at this point I'll call it point A at any given distance of your choice just pick another point let's call it let's say point b right i can easily measure it and know what actual distance it is so let's say it's given to be 55 a and b 55 right and i will take in it you can see that then i'll take my compass i'll take my compass and i'll place it this way at any given radius, right? I place at point A. I'm going to draw a semicircle this way. Let's see what I'm about to do. That is a semicircle. So where it intersects here, I'll call it point P, and I'll call here what point Q. It's not necessary, but I'm just putting it there. Now, with the same radius I used to draw this arc you're seeing here, I'll place it at Q. I'll cut an arc. I'll place it at P. I'll cut another arc. That's what I'm about to do. And I'll place it at where it cuts here. I'll call this point to be F, point F, and what? Point T. That's what I'm about to do. Now, on F, with the same radius, on F, I will strike an arc. On T, I will strike another arc. You can see that? And they are meeting here. I will call that point, point what? Point arrow. Now, this is what I want to show you. I want to repeat the same thing in different places. Just watch and see. Now, this is what I've done. You might be surprised what I've done here. I've reproduced the same thing I did earlier. I've replicated them into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is why I have 9 in total. So I'm going to use the same thing, the same method to construct all the angles I just set for you earlier. The first one, now let's start with angle 90 degree. Once you follow the same process that we use to draw all this, right? If you take your line, and you draw the line from point A to pass through arrow. That is 90 degree. You can see that? This is what? 90 degree. We call it 90 degree when you pass through arrow from A. From A, if you pass through T this way, This is 60 degree. You pass through T. That is what? 60 degree. Right? Now, if you now pass through F, that is 120. If you pass through F, that is what? 120. And you'll be wondering how. Let me prove it to you. We know that this spot here, I don't really need it. That is just 90 faint line because I don't need it. This 90 here is faint line. I don't need this because that's why I'm using faint line. What I need is what I've taken. So if I should take my protractor and confirm, let's see if we're actually on point. If I confirm, you can see that. That is 120 here. I mean 60 here. If I come here, 
this is what 120 you can see that from zero from this point here let's see 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 which is 120 you can see that so now that's what will happen let's not try we've done 90 60 this is 120 are we good now let's not see how we can draw 30 now if i take still my meter rule i pass it with faint line first because i'm looking for 30 we know this is what um 60 so if i want 30 i have to bisect tq that is bisect 60 so when i place my compass at any given radius on q i will strike an arc i'll place it on t here i'll strike another arc so where they meet i'll draw a line to pass through that point and that line that is what my 30 degree so when you bisect 60 you get what you get 30 degree all together and if i want 15 degree i'll still do the same thing remember what i don't need will be on faint line this is 90 but this is my faint line here so we have 90 here right so faint line what i need is the one i've taken now if i come here i want to draw 15 degree right the first thing we did i say when it passed through arrow is 90. then when it passed through t is what is 60 i'm using faint line and i bisect tq to get 30 this way watch at any given radius just place that q you draw an arc place it at t you draw another arc so where they meet is at this point but i'll still use faint line but what i'm looking for is 15 degrees so from here to here is 30 right because i bisect 60 so from here to here is 30 so if i bisect 30 let's see where it meets here this point let me call it l so from point l here to q i'm going to what bisect it so from this point i place it at q i strike an arc i place it at l i strike another arc so where they meet at this point will give me my what my 15 degree so the angle here is angle what angle 15 degree you guess what i'm doing now so if this is zero the horizontal is zero this one here is what 15 here is what 30 here is what 60 and here is what 90 you can see the logic there so go to the next one now if i want the next one i want to draw is 105 i said if i take it through here right this is 90 105 falls after 90 so it is to be falling between here this is what 120 i will together now because when 60 is in the other side is 120 this is 120 i will know between 60 and between between 90 and what and 120 is what is 30 so if i bisect 30 place it at this point where it intersects line arrow if i place it here and i strike an arc i place that f i strike another arc so where they meet at this point that is 15 degree because you are bisecting 30 so when you bisect that you have 15 and 15 plus 90 the vertical line is going to give us 105 so the angle between here and here from this point to this point is 105 degree we can just confirm that let's confirm that and see if it's 105 so when i place it here this is from here right so let's see we must place it very well so let's see this is um zero this is from here zero to 90 100 in between 100 and 110 is what 105 you can see that closely this is where it is here can you see that 
times 105. You see what I'm doing? Now let's move forward. Let's see if we can get one word. The next one, which is one, um, 150. Let's see what we get. 150. Now remember, if I place it here and it passed through this point here, this is 120, which I've already explained to you earlier. This is 120 when it passed through the other side, 120, right? Because if I if you pass through here, it's 60. But the other side is what? 120. Now if you look at this, in between here is what? 90, like I told you earlier. This is 90, but I don't really need 90 because it falls between 120, 150 falls between um 120 and 180. I'm going a straight line. We got all this line here from here to here is 180. I'm going a straight line, right? So that means the distance, the angle between here and here is what? 60. Why am I saying that? Look at this. When it passes through this point arrow, we know this is 90, right? And 90, the next point is what? 120. And if you remove 90 and 120, we have 30. So remove 30 from uh, 90, you will left with what? 60. So the angle between here, F and P is what? Is 60. So if I bisect it, if I bisect it, if I place it here at any given radius, I strike an arc. I place it at F and any given radius, I strike another arc. Where they meet, they are meeting at this point here. That angle you are seeing there is angle 150. So the angle from here to this point here is what? 100 and what? 150 degree. If you're wondering, right? This is 0, 90, 120, 150. You can confirm that and see. Let's see. And place it here. 0 to 90. Right? You can see that very well. This is 0. From here, 0 to 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. You can see that. That is 150. You can see just what I'm telling you. Now the next one is we can get 75. If I want to get 75, I know 75 falls before 90. So I'm going to draw my 90 degree this way. Then I'll draw my 60 degree this way because when it passes through 60. So this is 0, this is 60, this is 90. I will know that 75 falls between 60 and 90. So when I bisect 60 and 90, so what will not happen? If I place my compass on T, I strike an arc. I place it on this point here where it intersects. I strike another arc. That is 15 degrees because in between 60 and 90 is 30. And when you bisect 30, you get 15. And when you draw your line, 30, 15 plus 60, that gives you what? 75. So the angle between here and here is what? 75 degree. Are we together? So this is 0, this is 60, this is 75, and this is what? 90. Now, the last one, not the least, which is um, we've done everything that we want 165. So you can actually try that 165 on your own and see what you actually get. Right? You can just try that on your own and see what you get. I'll just give you a tip. A tip from here this is um this is let me just use this for you so you just complete that yourself in between here this is my 150 and between 150 to 180 is 30 so if i bisect um this i'm going to get what 15 so 15 plus 150 that gives us what 165 i will together so this is how we we'll go about this. Just again, so you do the same thing here, and you get what you actually want here. So, um, and if you are interested so much, you want to know about how I constructed this angle, you can also click at this link here. Take it to a page where you can construct angle 165. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.